Hi everyone, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing to my channel. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing and what I plan to do the week ahead. So first of all, what am I wearing? I am wearing one of my faithfuls and it is the Tasuti Patterns Free Pattern which is the Monroe Turtleneck and I absolutely love this top. So what have I been up to this week? Well, after sharing with you that I lost my sew jar a little bit, um, I felt really inspired this week. Uh, I think it's because I have totally cleared my schedule of things that don't excite me um, and I'm not feeling pressure to do things. So for example, I haven't took part in me may may because i just it was just too much to have on top of the other things that i had and i feel so, i'm loving 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 watching everybody else's me made may but for me i just didn't have the drive to take part in it this this year and that's fine so yeah this month is all about doing the things that i'm really excited about doing so so the first thing that i did was get my mesh recreate the look dress completed for my weekend away those of you that follow me on instagram uh, and watch my last YouTube video you will know that I went to the Wales for my wedding anniversary for an overnight stay and a beautiful beautiful lake and um, I made myself a dress now I was going to wear my hope dress but this kind of superseded it and the dress that I made was in this beautiful cheapest chips mesh fabric that I got from Barry's which was two pound or two pound fifty a meter and I really had a vision for this. It's in animal print, which you know I love. And I made the McCall 7999. And I've made this dress before. And I made view C. And I made this. And it was really simple to sew. My overlocker is working. So I was able to make this in the medium. So I made that. And then to go underneath, I made in this viscose jersey the Lola tank racer back which I love and I put this label in uh, that says sewing is sexy and it's just a plain black um, cuts off at the knee and I've put a photograph of me wearing just this dress and then wearing the combo um, and I love it so I feel so nice in it and it's funny because Last week I shared about the dress that I made, which was a figure hugging dress from Flem Patterns, which had the waist seam, which was quite low down, it was a low waist, and princess seams, and they're both figure hugging, but I didn't feel like a sausage in a dress this time. I actually felt lovely in this, and it's definitely affirmed to me that that white waist seam just was a thing that was doing it that was ruining it for me so i'm so so happy with that really really like it i've had loads of love i had loads of likes on instagram so it's been a really really well received make and i absolutely love it i just wish i could have got it done for recreate the look but never mind maybe next year so they're my two full makes and then i've also done some twirls now i talked about this in my last week's friday sews so i want i'm going to be making the ingrid dress by homer and Howes in this beautiful liberty fabric in this beautiful Liberty fabric that I got, have got from So Confident in Glasgow because I'm a brand ambassador for them. So I'm going to be making the Ingrid dress in that. But I really wanted to um, twirl the bodice because I was in between sizes um, and I didn't know whether to size down because I don't want it to be too oversized. So I decided to go, so I decided to go with the 12, UK 12. And it fits perfectly so i just made it up in this very cheap um viscose that i had in my stash it's got some irregular some like misprints on it so i just use this it's not going to be a wearable twirl i've literally just sewn it together i've not done a facing or anything so obviously that would be um a lower neckline but i absolutely love this pleat detail at the front you can see it there gorgeous and it fits perfectly really really happy with it so that was my first one um, and I have also cut out my Liberty fabric in the size 12 and I'm so excited and I also have I think enough fabric left over got about just under a meter left over because I was, I was really really thoughtful with how I placed this fabric so I wanted to get everything out of it so I have got enough to make the Be Curious dress for Alice. So we will have potentially a matchy matchy dress. So I'm going to try and cut that out today as well. So yeah, really happy I made a twirl. I'm really enjoying making twirls. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. And the Ingrid dress does come in a blouse and I am very tempted just to make myself a top um, because I really, really like how it looks in a viscose. So that's that one. And then the other 12 that I made was the Wilder gown but in a top form. So I talked to you about, this is another make for So Confident where I've got some Fabric Godmother <clears throat> satin I want to make the sleeveless hack dress in but I wanted to just check the fit under the arms because obviously it's a raglan sleeve dress that if you take the raglan off I just wanted to make sure that the armholes weren't too gapey um, and what I decided to do was finish so I cut it out in this exactly the same fabric again and I've just put a ribbon around the neck and um, I finished it with some bias binding and because that's not the full seam allowance so usually it'd be one and a half that has meant I haven't had to actually add any extra onto the um, arm psych because it's just perfect basically so I have made this and it fits perfectly under the arm and I'm very very happy now that I can make the small which is the size that I go with because I don't like it too oversized and I'm going to make that as a long dress with the tears. So yeah, I twirled that as well. And like I say, I really, really, really enjoyed the process of twirling. Because I've been going through all of my fabric, I have been getting stuff out and washing it and getting ready for May plans. And one of the fabrics that I had in my May's plans was this beautiful fabric that I got from Beyond the Pink Door. And I want to make the Claudia dress in it. I now have the pattern for the Claudia dress and I am going to be cutting this out. So I'm sticking the PDF together this week and we'll be going ahead and uh, cutting this out because I think, it'd be a, a, I think it, from what I can see it's quite a simple sew. It's got a facing pocket, it's one front piece, two back pieces and yeah, it should be quite simple to make in this. So that's another one that I'm keen to get um, cut out in readiness for making this month. Now I'm not going to get a lot of sewing done this weekend because I am going away to St Ives in Cornwall and fingers crossed it looks like the weather's going to be lovely. Um, so I am going to be going there on Friday so I'm filming this on Thursday. Um, um, so as you are watching this I am travelling to, down to Cornwall and hopefully the sun is shining and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to a nice weekend away and I'm not back till Monday so probably not going to get a massive amount of sewing done next week um with one thing and another and yeah definitely not over the weekend because i will be away um but that should mean that i'll be chomping at the bit to get back to it when i get back so i want to have all my projects lined up and ready for me so when i get back i want to cut out the claudia the claudia dress and i want to get start getting sewn up my ingrid and i'm going to take my time on my ingrid dress it's going to be in the shop window ever so confident so i want it to look absolutely beautiful on the inside and out so i'm going to overlock all the pieces of fabric on my overlocker um i haven't decided what color thread i'm going to use yet i don't have a pink but i would have used pink if i did um so yeah I want it to look really really beautiful so I'm going to take my time and enjoy that process and the cotton law sorry the cotton poplin the liberty cotton poplin was such a dream to cut out most of the pieces you cut out not on the fold as well because they're all irregular pieces they're not mirror images of each other um, and that was just a great experience as well so I really enjoyed cutting it all out as well last night and next Saturday I'm going to be going to a sewing social again with um a Bex is sewing social I can't believe it's been a whole month since the last one but really really looking forward to that as well so um yeah that's what I've got planned this week so I will try and take a little bit of footage um I have been told to go to Truro Fabrics if I get time but I probably won't be going I've from looking at my fabric there is no more need for any fabric and I'm only going to be buying fabric I truly love going forward so um yeah I probably won't go to any fabric shops but um yeah I will be uh looking into poppy treffery which is a really cute little shop in saint ives that has loads of sewing related stuff like it's where i got my mug from that says i hope i hope it's off to sew we go and also my christmas cards that had the old singer sewing machine on that i got last time i went um to saint ives so yeah really excited to pop into that shop as well and i'll see if there's any little haberdashery slash um sewing shops there fabric shops while i'm there but i'm not sure there is <laughs> 
okay so that's a really short one for me um i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you don't subscribe already please consider subscribing and um, i'll see you all soon have a great week of sewing happy sewing bye